questions. This is the real deal. This is what we're trying to ultimately get at in all of our, our stuff is how do you solve equations? We've done some solving already in the, the story problem. So 7 to the 3x equals 18. x is stuck in the exponent. And so we can't just divide by 7. We have to take the natural log or the log of both sides. I take the natural log because it takes less time to write. When we do this, the 3x is the exponent, and that pro last property of logarithms lets us bring the 3x out in front. Now, this is 3 times x, so I'm going to divide by 3. It's also 3x times the natural log of 7, so I'm going to divide by the natural log of 7 as well. And so x is going to be approximately... natural log of 18 divided by 3 times and make sure you 3 times the natural log of 7. You want to multiply the stuff on the bottom first and then do the division. You could also just do natural log of 18 divided by 3 divided by the natural log of 7 and you'd get the same answer. So 0 0.495 0 0.495 keep in mind you can always check your answer too 7 to the power of 3 times, I'm going to type in answer, so that's 3 times my answer, and that's equal to 18, which I had. So, next problem, x is in the exponent, easiest thing to get rid of first is this 5, so let's add the 5 over, so 2 to the point 0.1x equals 12, and now x is stuck in the exponent. See what we did? We got rid of everything before we went and did the same exact thing. Exponentials, what undoes exponentials? Logarithms. So logarithm of 2 to the point 0.1x. Again, that's going to come down in front. 0.1x times the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of 12. So just like we did last time, let's divide by 0.1 because it's 0.1 times x, get rid of the 0.1, divide by natural log of 2 to get rid of the natural log of 2, and that leaves x all by itself. So natural log of 12 divided by 0.1 times the natural log of 2. Again, notice the parentheses, making sure the denominator is multiplied together first. You get 35.8. And so notice this, 8496. The 6 is going to round up the 9, so it's going to be 0 0.850. 6 is rounding up the 9. Cool. Now, next problems. Notice logarithm. Sometimes with logs, you might condense stuff first um, before you get to something like this. But if not, let's solve to get the log part by itself, and then we'll use exponentials to solve it. So log base 2 of x minus 4. First thing you want to do, subtract the 2 because it's not connected to the x. Least connected to the x, sorry. And now the 4 you can't rid of, get rid of. It's inside the log. You can't add the 4. Don't try to. Now, one common mistake I see at this point in time is that people divide by the log base 2. We can't divide by the log base 2 because that's an operation that you're dividing by, and so we can't divide by something that's kind of like a square root. You're not taking the log base 2 of anything. So instead of doing that, we counteract the log base 2 with raising it to the power. Both sides are going to become exponents. So I'm going to do 2 to the log base 2 of x minus 4 and 2 to the 6th power. Notice what happens. 2 to the log base 2 becomes x minus 4. And this right here looks exactly like what we were doing before. 3 to the x power is 1 over 27. 
2 to the 6th power equals x minus 4. So now 2 to the 6th power, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. And so then x minus 4, add 4 to it, and you get 68. You can also check your answer on this one. Notice, though, that you're going to have to use change of base to be able to plug it in there. So 68 minus 4 is 64. Log of 64 divided by log of 2 is 6. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So it checks out. Last problem. So I want to get the x by itself. Least connected with the x is this plus 3, so we subtract 3. And we get 18. Least connected to the x is the 4. Now, you've, you could put the 4 up top, um, and you'd have x to the 4th. But we want to divide by the 4, because getting x to the 4th is going to be a lot more difficult in the fact that you have to take the 4th root. So natural log of negative x is 18 over 4, 9 halves, or let's just say 4.5. since it's a pretty decimal. Now, you have to recognize that the base of the natural log is e. It's called the natural log because the base is e, the natural number. And now we're going to do the same thing here, where both sides are going to become the exponents. e to the natural log of negative x equals e to the 4.5. What that does, e to the log base e cancels out. You just get negative x you get e to the 4.5. And then x is equal to the negative e to the 4.5, and approximately e, sorry, negative e to the 4.5, negative 90.017. And there you have it logarithms